going to reply back, it's time to show. All right? It's showtime. It's time, time to show. It's showtime. It's time to show. Yeah. Okay, give me some more energy. <laughs> this is speech number nine. And to persuade with power. So I think like this. Well, son, I to tell you. Life for me ain't been no crystal stair. Had tax in it, splinters, boards turned up, places with no carpet on the ground, bed. But I was still climbing, reaching ladders, turning corners. So don't you sit down on those steps because you kind of find it kind of hard. Don't you fall back, don't you quit. That poem, the part of that poem was written in 1922 by Langston Hughes. It's called Mother to Son. The reason that poem is so impactful to myself, I think back every time I get ready to take a break and say, ah, oh, this is just not going anywhere. Ah, oh, nothing is happening. I'm working hard and I don't see where it's coming out. I think of mother to son because I think of how my mother was to her three sons. 13 years old, mom and dad divorced. Dad moved on. Of course, we knew where he went. But mom raised three boys. I was the oldest of the three. Mom continued to work hard. She stayed up late. She pursued, she changed her career based off of us. Mom was working in the job service where she helped people get jobs. That's all we knew. She switched to education because she said, I need to be, she became a counselor to find out all the ways to help her three sons get the best education that they could. Now, mind you, this is why I'm being the choir director, going to church every Wednesday and Sunday. Three boys, three different sports, three times you gotta be at the field, three times you gotta pick them up, everything's going on. You're still being a mother, and we don't see none of this because we still have a roof over our head. We still have clothes on our back. We still have food on our table. We're working long hours. We don't see none of this. One night, a lot of things became become clear to me. I got up because I couldn't sleep. And they always say, you know, whenever you wake up late at night, you know, I mean, God trying to talk to you and tell you to pray. Well, that, that was different. I was young. I just got up. So I went to mom's room. And as I got to her door, I began to hear her crying. I heard mom crying. But I also heard her saying, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for taking care of my boys. Thank you, God. She was crying and saying, thank you, and crying and saying, thank you. Now, me being 13, I'm ready to go in, turn on the light. What's going on? You know, who I need to fight? What do we need to do? But she was still giving praise and thanks all through everything that she's been through. So now, it became a little bit different for me as being the oldest of the three. Now I understand when she's saying, uh, now don't get me wrong, you need to do all of this at the right same time. Do your homework. How to clean up how to take care of the house, how to treat your brothers. Because if you disrespect your brothers, someone else will dis disrespect your brothers. Going to church, giving thanks, being grateful for every single day that you can wake up, not quitting, not giving up. So when it said persuade with power, see, when I hear the word power, I think of Jean. It's my mother's name. I think of Jean. I think of power. When I hear power, I think of her. So persuade with power. Steve, how can you persuade these people with power when you haven't persuaded yourself to not give up? See, the speech wanted to be don't give up, don't quit. But you have those doubts. You have those sometimes where you just have, where you want to sit down on the steps, like the poem said, because you find, kind of, find it kind of hard. You want to turn back. You want to fall back. But then you got to think the power mother to son. She's never given up. To this day, me becoming a speaker, you would be amazed. When I was young, I, she had to look at me in the eye when you talk to her. You got to hold your head up when you talk mm -hmm. to her. Speak clear. Say your name clear. Right? That's all I used to hear. If I got in trouble at school, the teacher or the principal would be more like, son, I don't think you want your mom to come up here no more. It was a session. It was a training session. Look at me in the eye when you're talking to Hold your head up when you're talking to him. Now, if you're done wrong, you're done wrong. You still deal with you when we get home. But right now, you're going to look at him in the face. You're going to look eye to eye. You're going to speak clearly. 
You're going to do these things. She always said, you're going to be a speaker, you know. And mom is so, and now my baby brother's a pastor. My middle brother passed away in 2007. Now, she was saying we're going to be speakers, but I was, I'm not going to be the preacher because I have too much going on. I'm doing too much. I couldn't be the preacher. My baby brother became the preacher. But it came in a different light when I began to take confidence in myself, when I began to see what she saw before I could see it in myself. So when I say don't give up, don't quit, you have to see that within you first. It's hard to tell someone else, you know, inspire people. My job is to impact people across the world, and I'm going to do that. But you have to persuade you first. You have to work on you first. You have to impact self by your habits, by changing. So that brings us to this tonight. I have been coming for a while. I have a cleaning company as well. It's starting to grow, and I think I'm thankful for that. But I got to get tied up in the evening. So I said, no, when you, this, the location switch, it's like not far from one of my buildings. So I said, well, I'm going to leave the building, which is going to keep me in there later tonight. But it's OK, because you took a commitment to be a part of a group, to better yourself, to become the best that you can be in this group. You have two speeches to reach another milestone. But you keep putting it up. Well, I got to do this. Well, I got to do that. Son, mother to son, don't you quit. It's time for you to tighten up. It's time for you to get back up. It's going to be hard. Yeah, it's going to find it kind of hard. Yes, it's going to be sometimes where you go into the dark and there is no light. It's going to be those nights. And I tell you the same thing. There's going to be those tough times where things are going on. Yes, it's going to be some times where you feel like, I'm not going to make it tomorrow. Take one day at a time and move forward. See, here's the thing about it. I can't deal with tomorrow, today. I have enough grace and mercy for today to take care of today. So I tell you this, friends. Don't quit. Don't give up. Madam Toastmaster.